Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video for you. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a shotgun that, in my opinion, can actually rival that of the absolutely devastating power of the Matador. Now, everybody in the world has been trying to get their hands on this God-rolled Matador in order to wreck face in the Crucible, but I'm here to tell you there is another option out there that you might like just as much, but... Before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the feature comment of the day. And today's comment comes to us from American Shooter and he says, I should be featured comment of the day because I have been a sub for a long time and always look forward to your weekly reset videos. Gotta do that grinding. Well, thank you very much, American Shooter. And remember guys, if you wanna be the feature comment of the day, all you gotta do is hit that like button and leave a comment in the section down below, and I just might pick yours to be the next featured comment of the day. Now, if you are anything like me, and you've been playing Destiny for a long time, you have been on that constant grind in order to hopefully get that absolutely god-rolled matador so you can just wreck faces in the crucible. It's a very powerful weapon and probably the best shotgun in the game. But I'm here to tell you guys, there is one in my opinion that can rival that of the matador and it is not the weapon that you guys are all thinking of. So we're gonna play a little game. I'm going to be putting up some stats of two different shotguns on here without telling you exactly which one belongs to which weapon. And we are going to dissect this and figure out if there is something out there that can rival the Matador. Now I'm going to put up the stats of two different shotguns up on the screen right now. And let's just take a minute to look at them. You can actually see, uh, first we're going to focus on the primary stats. So both of these shotguns have the rate of fire of 8, impact 67, range of 23. Um, the stability and reload of the shotgun on the left is a little bit higher than that of the shotgun on the right. Now, in the secondary stats, you can actually see the shotgun on the right actually has, you know, quite a bit higher values in most areas here. So, aim assistance is 29 on one, but a big 50 on the other one. For the equip speed, you have 29 on shotgun on the left, and the equip speed of 40 on shotgun on the right. And in the recoil direction, again, 59 on the left and 70 on the right. Now, these particular stats, the secondary stats, really aren't that important when it comes to shotguns. Impact and range are definitely king when it comes to finding a good shotgun to run in the Crucible in Destiny. In fact, I would go so far as to say that in the secondary stats, really the only one that makes any difference in my opinion as far as shotguns are concerned is going to be the equip speed. How quickly can you pull your shotgun out and kill that person that's charging at you or coming around that corner? The aim assistance doesn't really matter and the recoil direction definitely doesn't matter because your goal should be killing the people in one shot anyway, maybe follow it up with a melee to finish them off. So the recoil direction should not hinder the use of whatever shotgun you're using that much unless it just had a horrendous recoil direction and after you fired it maybe your crosshair shot straight to the ceiling. But nothing like that happens regardless of what shotgun you're using. So these are both very close. Also, we really don't care about the stability at all. That makes no difference whatsoever. The reload can actually come into play. The faster you can load the, these high impact shotguns, the faster you can get another shot off and possibly save your life or get that extra kill you were looking for. So that does play into effect. So the shotgun on the left is going to have a little bit faster reload and the shotgun on the right is going to basically have a little bit faster equip speed. So these are pretty much neck and neck in my opinion, but let's dive a little bit deeper into these stats. Okay, so what we are looking at now is the min max values of both of these shotguns again. Now, we're not really gonna focus on the min, we're looking at the numbers on the right, the max. Now remember, the two most important things, and I'm gonna highlight them here, are your impact and your range. And you can see both the shotgun on the left and on the right have a maximum impact of 70 and a maximum range of 32. Now, these are the only two shotguns currently in Destiny that can reach both that level with the rate of fire of eight 
impact of 70, and a range of 32. Not to mention, both of these weapons could also have a rangefinder on it. Another perk that you were looking for for that god rolled shotgun. To, with a range of 32 and that high of an impact, if you also have rangefinder with either of these, you'll be sniping people with a shotgun from absurd distances and make people start throwing and breaking their controllers. Now if we take a little bit closer look at some of these stats, a lot of these can be misleading because as you can see we can get the stability up very high on the shotgun on the right and we can also get the reload speed absurdly high on the shotgun on the left up to a level of 42. But in order to get these the perks would not be able to make us maximize both of our impact and our range. Even the magazine on the shotgun on the left we can get one extra shot with it but to do so we're going to have to sacrifice in the stats that we really care about so we are not going to do that again. What we want to focus on is the impact and the range. Those are really the two that make the most impact when it comes to using a shotgun in PvP in Destiny. I just wanted to keep this up here for a little bit just so I could show you what the actual maximum possible values were that you could get on both of these shotguns. So let's go ahead and bring back up that original graphic that I put up here. So I think I've teased you guys for long enough and I'm going to reveal one of these shotguns to you. So if we look right now, the graphic that is coming up, the shotgun on the right is none other than the Matador 64. Now I don't know if this surprised any of you, some of you may have thought that the first one was, but that's fine. The stats are so close that you could easily have got these mixed up, but rest assured, the shotgun on the right, all of the stat values are for the Matador 64. So. It begs the question, what is the shotgun on the left? A lot of people would immediately say, oh, it's the Party Crasher, because people say if you don't have the Matador, your Party Crasher is also a good substitute. But that's not exactly true, because remember I said these are the only two that can reach that min and max value that we were looking at in that last graphic. Um, what was it? The impact of 70 and the uh, range of 32. So it's really not quite up there now the one thing the party crasher does have has a bit faster fire rate so why it lacks a little bit in that uh impact and range category compared to these guys mainly in the range you get higher range with these two but you get a little bit faster firing with the party crasher plus one so that absolutely does uh make it a very viable candidate if you don't have either of these two shotguns by all means if you have a god rolled party crasher you could do a heck of a lot worse than that and you will have a lot of fun tearing people's faces off but i am concentrating on the two best shotguns in my opinion in destiny and it's these two so what is the shotgun on the left i'm sure that's what a lot of you are thinking right now well, I think I've kept you in suspense long enough. Let's go ahead and reveal what the shotgun on the left is. And there you have it. It is the Last Ditch 001. That is the Dead Orbit shotgun. Now, this has a, you know, a lot less chance of you getting your hands on a God Rolled version of it, as the only way you're really ever going to do it is from getting it for rewards from the Dead Orbit, such as turning in your faction packages and stuff like that. So, while you're not going to be able to get this weapon, I don't believe, as a random drop, I'm pretty sure you can only get it from Dead Orbit. You can, in fact, get random drops from any PvP event, you know, for the Matador. So, you're more likely to come across a God-rolled version of the Matador than you are getting a God-rolled version of the Last Ditch. But, if you do get your hands on a God-rolled Last Ditch, in my opinion, I put it exactly even uh, with the Matador and I never hear anyone talking about the last ditch. It is a fantastic weapon In fact, if you don't have either of these weapons or a good party crasher go right now to the vendor You know go see dead orbit and you can pick up a pretty decently rolled um, Shotgun from them pick up the last ditch. Uh, it's not gonna be the god roll It won't be the absolute maximum range and impact with you know the rangefinder as well but it will serve you very well. So if you don't have a good serviceable shotgun, you're just looking for one, hoping for one to drop, go ahead, go visit Dead Orbit, pick that last ditch up, and at least you have something that you can use while you're waiting for those God rolled shotguns to fall in your lap. So there you have it, guys. Uh, just a little comparison between these two shotguns. And I just want to shed a little bit of you know light on the last ditch because I don't hear anyone ever talking about it. All I hear is Matador this, 
Matador that, and with good reason, it's a fantastic shotgun. But then, you know, if somebody mentions a shotgun other than Matador, they always say the Party Crasher. I just don't think so. The Party Crasher is good, and I had a lot of fun with it, and for a long time, it was my best and favorite shotgun. But I'm just going to let you know, don't disregard the last ditch. If it's rolled properly, I think it would be indistinguishable, as far as performance goes, between the last ditch and the matador so keep your eyes peeled for that don't immediately discard it because you could just find that absolute gem of a diamond and be able to wreck people's faces and let's face it you would look a little bit uh cool getting kills with a shotgun other than the matador and party crasher so take that you know for what it is guys i hope I really do hope you found this video useful, entertaining, and maybe even a little surprising. If you did, that was my intention. So if that was the case, go ahead and smack that like button. It really helps this channel out a lot. And I'm going to drop it off on that. In the comment section below, I want to know what do you guys think about this video as far as a comparison to these shotguns. Is, uh, do you think I'm way off base here? Do you think there's another shotgun out there that's being overlooked that doesn't get as much love? Um, I'd really be interested to know. I've been diving through the database trying to find something to compare to the Matador and you know this is one that absolutely does compare in my opinion. You know with the Matador you are going to have you know just a little bit faster equip speed but you're going to have just a little bit more stability with the last stitch. Other than that they're fairly identical so in my opinion it's a draw. Take your pick. If you get a god roll of either one of these, count your blessings because you have, in my opinion, the best shotgun in PvP. But, enough rambling guys, this video has already gone a little bit longer than I wanted to, so, as always, this is LV Native. you guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one.